my name is Uncle Ted, your ice cream alchemist with ice cream every day with caramel sauce. And you know, this took a while, but let me tell you, it came out very nice. Uh, I practiced this a bit. I'll admit, I was worried. I practiced this a bunch because I didn't want to ruin my pan. I can't afford to buy new pans, and I can't afford to be blowing through sugar and cream making mistakes. And just look at this stuff. It's incredible. And, you know, I'm really happy with how well it came out. I really am. So, let's go ahead and, and we'll get on with it here. Now, this was a pretty simple thing, believe it or not. Uh, we use a cup and a half of sugar. And then I used a uh, half a cup of water. And uh, I also used uh, three-fourths of a cup of heavy cream that I set out and let it get to room temperature and then I use six tablespoons of butter and it's really important to make sure that your cream is at room temperature when you use it because you don't want to shock the uh, really super hot sugar now I just put the sugar in the pan then I added the water the pan is not turned on the the heater is not turned on yet on the stove I went ahead and just mixed up the sugar I didn't stir it I just shook the pan it's important not to stir and this is the only time that I'm going to mess with this, is just making sure that I get all the sugar dissolved in the water. Then I go ahead and turn it on, and I get it on medium-high heat. And I let it get to a boil. What we need to do is we need to boil the water out of this. Now, some recipes will tell you not to put any water in. I do, just because it's safe. This way you can make sure you're not scorching the sugar. And then I use my little brush and water, and I put that on the sides of the pan in case any sugar goes up the sides. This way, you don't end up with black bits on the sides of your pan. You really don't want that. I mean, caramel sauce is essentially burnt sugar anyway, but you really don't want to have black bits. So by using that brush with the water, I'm able to have more control. Now we got some color that's starting to form. You see how it's starting to form on one side of the pan? And that took about eh, five, six minutes, but I've got it on one side of the pan, and the other side's still kind of clear. And that's going to happen. Uh, it's either, you know, the heating element is maybe a little uneven, maybe uh, the pan's a little uneven, so I, I put my finger out there to show you, hey, you know, this is what we got, cause in case you can't see. But that's the only time that you can really shake the pan a little bit, you know, shake it, twirl it just to try and get all that even. You want it as even as you can. So I would take it off my heating element just for that purpose and be super careful here folks. I'm telling you, melt sugar, boiling sugar is way hotter than boiling water. This stuff is napalm. It is deadly. You will get third degree burns if you splatter it on your skin. So be super careful. Get the kids out of the room tell the dog to go outside and you know don't leave your stove have everything set out and don't leave your stove now look at that color that color is getting close to the amber that we're looking for we want that nice rich amber color and we're gonna look for smoke smoke is our indicator that it's just about done so once you start seeing smoke then we're about there. Now since I'm using an electric burner, electric burners take time to settle down, so I am actually going to shut it down to low heat a just bit before it's done. That way it gives it time to settle down a little bit because heat control is important. But we got whiffs of smoke coming in, and that means we're about ready. So when that's color and the smoke, that indicator, you know that deep amber cover color, we're just going to go ahead and throw that cream in now it's gonna bubble up like crazy and splatter be super careful and I used my short whisk because it's a sturdy thing I wish I hadn't because that is super hot I actually had to pull my hand back a couple times because it was super hot and burning me so when you do that with the cream it's it might even seize up a little bit you might have clumps in there and you're thinking oh god I bricked it no don't worry about it just keep stirring keep stirring keep stirring keep stirring that's what you want to do is just keep on stirring if you got some chunks in there keep stirring it will unseize just keep on stirring keep using that whisk and doing it uh, don't stop now I put it back in the heater if it starts to get a little too hot I would pull it off a little bit then I'd put it back on 
and it's okay you know you can do that just keep on whisking it and eventually it'll start to unseize and go back to a liquid state those bubbles don't worry about the bubbles watch what happens when I put the butter in don't worry about the bubbles don't worry about that stuff on the top it'll all take care of itself in the end just keep whisking if you got chunks in there keep whisking if it starts to you know seize up around the ed edges of the pan keep whisking don't stop just keep using it and eventually you'll get it now the butter that I used I pre-cut that up into six little tablespoon size patties and I use real butter unsalted you can use salted but honestly I don't want to do that because I want to have more control over the salt that I use so and make sure you use real butter not margarine trust me on this you don't want to put margarine in this it will really mess it up so I went ahead and put my butter back in and like I said I cut it up in small pieces this will break right up and just whisk it in once you do all that then you will have a wonderful wonderful caramel sauce look at the color on that that rich amber that was an incredible color and you just whisk in that butter it's super hot by the way it is still super hot it's not boiling but I'm telling you that that caramel sauce in the pan right there is hotter than boiling water and so you still have to be very careful with it not to burn yourself but just keep whisking in eventually that, that butter's gonna melt in like 30 seconds as you can see and that folks is how you make caramel sauce you just go ahead and put that in your Tupperware dish let it cool off and you have the richest caramel sauce imaginable now what I did was I actually put it in a squeeze bottle and the squeeze bottle is just a squeeze bottle of gold now I do want to thank you for watching the video click like please and uh, please subscribe you know share the video around with your friends I appreciate it and you know if you're not eating ice cream for breakfast then what's the point of being an adult thanks for watching you have a great day